Hey, what's going on my friend, Abram Gonzalez, and uh, I'm excited to share this, this really special law of attraction tip with you. Uh, when I first discovered this, I realized, man, no wonder, my, no wonder my life wasn't the way that I wanted it to be, right? Especially financially. So I want to tell you, tell you a quick little story, and it'll relate to what this tip is, how you can use it, how you can make a life that's, uh, that's magical and just, just abundant in every way, right? When I just got out of college, it was very difficult for me to even pay my rent, right? I remember living in this house. I was paying like 550 bucks a month in rent for this little bedroom with a, I mean, I was lucky. I had a little bathroom attached and stuff. And here's what's interesting, right? I found myself asking every month to have the money to pay my rent with ease, right? So I'd be like, all right, 550 bucks, here we go. Problem was, is I would easily manifest the 550, but what I forgot is there's like all these other bills that are coming my way, you know, student loans and cell phone bill and, and car insurance, all this stuff, right? So I'd always come up short. Maybe you have the same experience, right? When it came to like wanting to go to a workshop or go on a trip or something like that, one of the things that people always forget to do is to ask for way more money than just the base of the trip, right? Because the universe is gonna deliver what you ask for. You gotta be really clear about it though. You gotta be clear about what you require. So it's like, you wanna go on this trip, it's gonna cost you $3,000? Okay, well, what about all the like little unexpected stuff that you're gonna pay for along the way? You should ask for that, right? And then not only this, between now and the time that the trip happens, what do you have? A lot of other expenses and things, right? You got your rent, you got the food, you got all the stuff, right? You gotta ask for all of it. Otherwise, you're always, always going to come up short, right? I know somebody watching this right now, maybe it's you, you're having a breakthrough, right? You're like, oh, dang. Like, no wonder I've been coming up short. I've been asking for the wrong amount. So here's, here's what I'm gonna ask you to do. I'm gonna ask you to stretch. And I'm gonna ask you to do what I started doing a few years ago that's just sort of like allowed me to quantum leap in every every area of my life, right? Financially, spiritually, emotionally, in my relationships, right? I love my life because now I'm asking for the right things. I'm asking big enough. I'm challenging you right now to ask big. Make yourself uncomfortable with how big you ask. This is why it's important. Because guess what, even if you don't believe it, something starts to shift when you start asking bigger, okay? Just start asking, right? What's the worst that's gonna happen, right? Universe might say no, okay. That's probably happened a few times in your life. Was it that bad? No, you just ask again. It's like, you're not gonna get like bitch slapped by the universe for asking for too many things. You just do, you deserve it. You can ask for it, you can have it, okay? Start asking big, and the second thing, this might be a breakthrough for you the same way it was for me when I first learned this about a year and a half ago. Ask for many different things, right? Don't pigeonhole, pigeonhole yourself into just one thing, right? If you wanna save the world and you, got, you, you wanna do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, ask for all of it, right? What if you had like, instead of like a couple goals, you had like 5,000 goals, right? What if you had 5,000 goals, right? What if, you had a, what if you had a notebook at your house where every day you write down something new that you like to achieve in your life in the next 30 years, right? And go big, go far out. Right, start writing this stuff down. You get an idea of something that you'd like to have, boom, write it down, put it in the notebook, right? Revisit it every now and then, maybe like once a month, who cares, right? Not a big deal. Here's what's special about that, about going big and asking for a lot more. You have to get out of your head because you can no longer physically imagine it. It's impossible, too much stuff going on, right? And what's magical about that is it allows you to get out of the way in the creation process and it allows the universe to come in and fill the space that's required for you to have that manifest with ease. Are you getting this, right? Huge, huge stuff, huge stuff, right? If you had a breakthrough from, from this information, please share it with me. Comment below this video. I'd love to know, you know, just for fun, I'd love to know what's one of your big What's one of your big, hairy, gnarly goals? Like something that makes you uncomfortable that even like sharing it, sharing it might scare the piss out of you because you wonder, man, are people gonna judge me? Are they gonna think I'm greedy? Like, you, you know, it's like one of those things that makes you so uncomfortable about what people might think about you for saying it. I challenge you to put that in the comments below, right? I challenge you, what is the big, hairy goal that you have for your lifetime that people might laugh at you for sharing it, right? This is a safe place. Honor that space. Be honoring of your fellow, your fellow human beings who are sharing openly and with vulnerability, all right? And also share along with them. In vulnerability comes our strength. And I'm excited to see what you have to say 
down in the comments below, all right? I appreciate you for watching my video. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't uh, because you want more of these videos. And if you're interested in what my daily abundance checklist is, right, the stuff that I do every single day to live a magical life using the law of attraction, go to avermanicki.com and download your free PDF ebook uh, of our daily attraction, I'm sorry, daily abundance checklist. It's my gift to you. Appreciate you for watching my video. Look forward to seeing your comments below. All right. Bye for now, my friend.